Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, once again we are here together to participate in a divine ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am sure this time Lord will bless us all with a new anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today we are going to think about the power of praise and worship. When we come across some difficulties in our life, this type of prayer, this kind of prayer, praise and worship will help us greatly. Now, we are analyzing this fact with a Bible passage. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verses 1 to 4. There we see an incident which happened in the life of Yehoshaphat, a king of Judah. Let us hear from the Bible. After this, the Moabites and Ammonites, and with them some of the Munites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Messengers came and told Jehoshaphat, A great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea. Already they are at Hazazon Tamar. Jehoshaphat was afraid. He set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the towns of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Three kings with the mighty warriors, they came together to attack Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was frightened. The name of that countries were Moabites, Ammonites, and Mayunites. They joined together to eradicate the kingdom of Judah from the history. So with all their power, they marched towards Jehoshaphat. Hearing this news, Jehoshaphat was frightened like anything. He was trembling like the leaves in the wind. Then he turned to his Lord and, proclaimed, and announced a fast throughout Judah. And all the people gathered in the, in the, in, in, before the Lord. They all asked the will of God. Lord, what shall we do? See, next word we see 10 to 12. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 10 to 12. There, they are praying before their Lord. Lord, our forefathers were there at Egypt. You delivered us from Egypt and you brought us together through the wilderness. On the way, these three countries were there. And on that time, you didn't allow us. Otherwise, we would have destroyed him thoroughly. Because, only because you allowed them to stay there, we spared them. But now, they joined together. They are coming to Wash out us from this country. What shall we do? They are praying. Let us read from 20 verse 10 to 12. See now, the people of Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir, whom you would not let Israel invade when they came from the land of Egypt and whom they avoided and did not destroy. They reward us by coming to drive us out of your possession that you have given us to inherit. O oh, our God, will you not execute judgment upon them? For we are powerless against this great multitude that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were all helpless. They are expressing their helplessness before their God. Lord, we don't know what to do. 
we are powerless before this multitudes of this multitude they say then the spirit of the lord came to a prophet that we see in the next word 2014 yeah then the spirit of the lord came upon jehaziel son of zechariah there was a prophet jehaziel and then when the people prayed together the spirit of the lord came to the prophet and showed the way and revealed the will of god he said listen all judah and inhabitants of jerusalem and king jehoshaphat thus says the lord to you do not fear or be dismayed at this great multitude for the battle is not yours but god's hallelujah hallelujah this battle is not yours but this battle is fought by god himself when the people prayed there came an answer i am there with you you need not fight for yourself i will fight for you you only have to stand still you will see the victory like that the revelation came from the lord and prophet revealed the, the heavenly revelation to the people in verse 17 we see that this battle is not for you to fight take your position stand still and see the victory of the lord on your behalf o judah and jerusalem do not fear or be dismayed tomorrow go out against them and the lord will be with you hallelujah 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 this was the answer from their lord dear brothers and sisters people were happy they are they were ready to obey their lord then we see in 20 and 21 what the spirit of the lord demanded from them to see the mighty victory from the from the part of god the spirit of the lord demanded from the people a small thing what was that 20 and 21 they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of tekoa and as they went out jehoshaphat stood and said listen to me o judah and inhabitants of jerusalem believe in the lord your god and you will be established believe his prophets when he had taken counsel with the people he appointed those who were to sing to the lord and praise him in holy splendor as they went before the army saying give thanks to the lord for his steadfast love endures forever hallelujah hallelujah this was a thing that the people have to do they do not they need not take arms they do not take mighty weapons against their their enemies what the spirit of the lord demanded from them is that you do praise and worship you praise your god you bless the mighty name of your creator you sing praises to your mighty god then the lord will move before you and you will see a mighty victory so the king obeyed the spirit of the lord the king asked the people wear good dress neat clean dress when you are participating in spiritual matters church matters please my dear brethren please my dear brothers and sisters wear very moderate gentle dress clean dress the king asked the people be clean and wear good dresses and sing praises to the lord people did so what happened then next word 22 and 23 As they began to sing and praise the Lord set an ambush against the Ammonites Moab and Mount Seir who had come against Judah so that they were routed 
For the Ammonites and Moab attacked the inhabitants of Mount Seir, destroying them utterly. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, they all helped to destroy one another. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. They fought each other and killed each other. No one was escaped. After some time, Israel don't hear any sound of weapons or any sound of their enemies. They were wonder they they were wondering what happened to them. No sound is hearing. Where is they? They climbed on the watchtower and looked upon them. Verse 24 we see when Judah came to the watchtower of the wilderness they looked toward the multitude they were corpses lying on the ground no one had escaped my god all were corpses all are dead they fought each other and killed everyone each other nobody was escaped nobody was left my dear friends did the people of god do anything against them they did only what the spirit of the lord wanted them they did a good praise and worship then the god their creator the almighty god the omni powerful god all powerful god came down and worked for them and fought for them and moved before them it was an amazing experience which they can't they can't forget in their lifetime we don't have much deep god experience because we, we are not familiar to do the praise and worship rosary is a prayer we have the core is a prayer novan is a prayer but do we have praise and worship do we have the worship in our house do we train the worship do we train our people to, do we train our children to do the praise and worship in our home we are guilty before our god dear friends in our parishes in our homes we are not giving training to our children to our people hallelujah 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 we are familiar to many other kinds of many other types of prayers i want to introduce a man who was very interested in prayer in his lifetime his name was david his whole life was oriented to his god he was a spiritual man whenever he got time he spent his time in prayer after sp- uh, spending much time in prayer at the end of his life he gave a lesson to all those who are coming after him that we see in psalms 69 verse 30 and 31 I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox or a bull with horns and hooves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This will please my God better than a burnt offering. Burnt offering is a that's a top most form of prayer for them for Hebrews. But David says I will sing praises to my Lord. Thanks I will give thanksgiving to my Lord and this will be very pleasing to my God. It will please my God better than any other form of prayers. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In Psalms chapter 50 verse 23. Those who bring thanksgiving as their sacrifice honor me. to those who go the right way i will show the salvation of god hallelujah hallelujah dear friends but some of us has a preoccupation is it not a prayer of protestants 
is it a catholic prayer or a protestant prayer many of us are confused i was also confused in my younger days whether it is, whether it is a catholic prayer or a protestant prayer dear friends i straightly went to a bible scholar a great theologian and asked him is it a catholic prayer or a protestant prayer then that great theologian bible scholar told me outrightly that it is neither catholic nor protestant prayer this prayer was there even before the birth of jesus luke chapter 2 verses 36 to 38 there we see a person anna she spent her whole time in praising god let us read from the bible there was also a prophet anna the daughter of phanuel of the tribe of asher She was of a great age having lived with her husband 7 years after her marriage then as a widow to the age of 84 she never left the temple but worshiped there with fasting and prayer night and day at that moment she came and began to praise god and to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of jerusalem hallelujah hallelujah she was spending the, her time night and the whole time praising her god was she a protestant dear friends that big bible scholar that great theologian told me this is coined by our heavenly father he taught this prayer first in heavenly court their angels were taught this prayer by the heavenly father the angels are using this prayer singing this prayer day and night throughout the ages unceasingly then our heavenly father taught this prayer when he formed people of god in on earth when jesus came jesus used in a larger way this prayer after jesus disciples also used this prayer in an extensive way in luke chapter 24 verse 53 there we see an incident just after the resurrection just after ascension the apostles returned to the temple and the, there they spend the, the whole time in praising let us read from the bible and they were continually in the temple blessing god praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah they were continually in the temple praising their god now let us stand up and let us pray let us praise our god it is not a bad thing it is not a sin to praise our god to bless god all the, in in the, the in the psalms we see everywhere bless is the bless the name of the lord praise your god it is a divine command now with the open heart with an open heart let us praise our god wholeheartedly hallelujah 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 lord we bless your mighty name glory 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 blessed be the name of the lord fire 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 blessed be the name of the lord the most high blessed be the name of the lord Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord the Most High Jesus is the name Hallelujah Jesus is the name Glory glory Oh my Jesus is the name of the Lord Jesus is the name of the Lord the Most 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ Jesus is here in a real manner just as he is there at the right hand of the father he is here now let us worship our lord jesus christ jesus 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 Receiving the benediction. 
please raise your hands look upon jesus call his name jesus you are holy jesus you are the mighty one jesus i adore you right now the power of jesus is there with you where you are now raise your hands look upon jesus call his name jesus 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 you are holy Thanksgiving.